how can we adapt our conflict management styles? Once we've diagnosed the source of a conflict, we can adapt our conflict management styles to best address it. In this video, we'll consider five styles, collaboration, compromise, competition, accommodation, and avoidance. Different situations call for different styles, and no one style is best in all situations. Collaboration is both assertive and cooperative. When we collaborate, we identify both parties' concerns and find an alternative that addresses these concerns. This style is associated with win-win negotiations. Collaboration is effective when learning about the other party is important to the outcome, when multiple perspectives need to be combined, when relationships between the parties need to be repaired, and when commitment to the solution is important to success. Use collaboration effectively by encouraging others to share information, solve problems creatively, and think critically. Considering your relationships with other people and doing your part to maintain those relationships is also important. Competition is assertive but not cooperative. Using this style, we pursue our own interests and use whatever power is necessary to accomplish our goals. Competition is effective when safety is important, when the conflict is perceptual in nature, when the other party relies on non-competitive styles. Use competition effectively by using it sparingly because using it too often can damage our credibility. You have to be careful not to use it to take advantage of people. Explicitly outlining what we want, you need to be specific about your interests. Explaining the reason we used competition later, after emotions have cooled. Accommodation is cooperative, but not assertive. It involves sacrificing our own interests for the sake of the other party's interests. Accommodation is effective when the issue is not important to us, when we're negotiating and need to expand the pie or make a concession, when others know more about the situation than us, when others use their power to outrank us, and when we know we were wrong about something. Use accommodation effectively by explicitly acknowledging the accommodation. Make it known that you are providing an accommodation. Using it only when you have a good reason to use it. When we accommodate everyone else, we risk exploiting the people we represent. For this reason, accommodation isn't as respected as the other styles. Avoidance is neither assertive or cooperative. Using this style, we do not address conflict. Avoidance is effective when the resolution needs to be delayed, when more information needs to be collected and shared, when other people need to be involved in the process, and when the issue is trivial. Use avoidance by setting time limits on the timeout. You want to address it at some point, which brings us to the next suggestion. Avoid conflicts temporarily, but not forever. Don't let it fester too long, or it will create additional conflicts that will need to be addressed as well. Setting goals for the timeout and coming back with a fresh perspective are also helpful. Compromise involves a moderate amount of cooperation and assertiveness. When we compromise, we try to find a mutually acceptable option that allows everyone to get at least part of what they wanted. Compromise is effective when resources are limited and cannot be expanded, when the conflict involves role factors, when only a temporary solution is needed, when time pressures are great, and when previous attempts at conflict resolution failed. Managers can use one of these five styles to address any source of conflict.